Hey y'all, welcome back to Beauty with Ty. So today I have this really nice curly bob wig for you guys. So yes, we see that closure. It's looking so good. The hair is very bouncy, so soft, and I was just really feeling myself with this hair. This is like my go-to hair. I just went to the store and I just threw on this hair because it's bomb like that. So this hair was sent to me and they sent me three 14-inch curly bundles as well as a 14 inch closure and this is their little brochure giving you all the information about their company and how to care for the hair so this is the closure i did bleach the knots as well as pluck it so i want to do it over to the side so i'm bringing it over in that middle arrow and this is the japanese inspired swing cap so i'm just pinning that down over to the side using that little middle point as my guide and then I'm going to sew half of the closure starting from the front to the back. And then I will close that out and finish the rest starting from the other side in the front to the back. So here I'm using nylon thread. I like to use nylon thread. I think it holds and go a little stronger than cotton. So just keep on doing that all the way towards the back. And y'all, this hair is really nice, really soft. All I do is just take a spray bottle and spray it and that is it so now i'm going to start off from the other side like i said and you want to do this this is going to help your frontal from shifting all to one side if you sew it all the way around so just keep that in mind when you're going to slow on your closure excuse me i said frontal earlier okay so this is what it's looking like after i have sewn it all the way around so I'm going to go ahead and glue in my tracks. I like to glue my tracks because I do a lot of wig reviews. Um, and plus, it lasts. I wash my wigs. The tracks doesn't move. Um, they don't slide out or anything like that. Every once in a while, like like literally every blue moon, I might get a track that kind of slide out. And I'm just going to take my glue and glue it back. So, yeah. But if you're wearing your hair like daily for like... A month or two straight you might as well just go ahead and sew it but I'm always I always change my hair so it's fine for me to glue it so I just want to take a track glue it on there and then I will blow dry you want to make sure you blow dry and I will leave a link down below on where I got my canvas head off of Amazon as well as how I wrapped it with the saran wrap and this is going to protect your wig cap from color glue all of that because if i didn't do that you do want to put a stocking cap underneath so you'll be able to pull it off with ease so this is what the wig is looking like after i have finished it all the curls are popping but i'm going to get them looking more realistic and not as uniform then um so i'm going to go ahead and take this hot comb i got this hot comb from my local beauty supply store and it was twelve dollars and i'm just doing that around the perimeter of the closures and you just want to do that so you can make sure that the tracks aren't showing pretty much so now this is what it's looking like it looks so good and so natural like y'all i'm telling y'all i just picked this wig up slapped it on my head and i keep it moving and every once in a while i might spray some water on it but no so i just take my spray bottle it's nothing mixed in there it's just only water I'm just spraying that, then I'm taking my dimming brush and just brushing it through so I can get more natural looking curls and the curls aren't so uniform. So you see now my curls are starting to come through, come to life. They're looking good. So I'm taking my diffuser blow dryer, which is by Revlon. I'm just going through and drying the hair. Usually I'll just let it sit overnight, but this time I was going out So I decided to use my blow dry and this is what it's looking like. So I did have to cut it cuz It was looking a little shaggy. So that's how I did I just took some strings pulled it down and end up cutting it and it just took its shape like that So just fluffing it out was trying to get a feel for it and now I'm going to go ahead and glue on my wig and I will be using ghost bond glue and I got this from Amazon but I have been sitting in the hair store so I guess you can get it from your hair store now and I let that dry clear and then I just go ahead and pull that up and it's also $19 well $21 now because it went up so I'm just taking a baby hair and like kind of pulling that down over the glue and 
Now I'm just going to pull that out so that I can trim that baby hair down. But first I'm going to go ahead and get this lace the color of my skin tone because I didn't tint my lace or anything. So I'm just taking my contour palette and just getting that right. So I'm going back in with my hot comb so I can get it looking more natural and realistic to hot comb that back to have it more so pulled off my face. So just want to keep doing it. It look good. Don't it look like it's going out of my scalp? <laughs> so <clears throat> just keep doing it till you get it to your liking. Then I'm taking this got to be glue and I'm spraying that on the top area so I can get it to kind of wave back up and get it shaped to stay in that spot. And you know, keep in mind the got to be glue is going to make it hard. So it was like a little hard up there. I'm going to take that baby hair and just comb it and then I'm just brushing it back. I'm not putting any product on my baby hair so I can get them to look more natural and more realistic. And yeah, I just keep doing that until I get it how I like. And the ends were actually staying up there by the holding spray. So this is the finishing look. And as you guys can see, it took me like no time to do this and it was very effortless and just check out those curls so y'all make sure y'all click the links down below so y'all can go and purchase this hair i love this hair the customer service was bomb too so here i'm just showing off my hair i am really feeling myself it was looking good y'all my lace was looking so good my girl had to come and try to see where it started and stopped and i had to get her on about the way because uh-uh she was doing too much but all right you guys go ahead and please give me a thumbs up i love you and i'll see you next time bye